Yo, welcome back to Uncomfy UI. You followed our past vids, stepped up your game, and still somehow created Waifu's twisted body with shame. Don't worry, this is In Paint with Flux. Your second chance lets you fix your disaster renders by masking stuff and hoping for divine intervention. First, the basics. Update Comfy UI. In Paint. Use it to fix, swap, remove, or notify your AI girl, because we both know you're not using it to change backgrounds. Inside Comfy UI templates, you'll find two in paint setups. In paint in basic is SD model base. Ignore it. It's the artistic equivalent of performing surgery with a spoon. You'll probably destroy your AI girl more than fix her. Flux in paint, much better. Built for quality, detail, and smoother edits. That's what we're using, with some upgrades. What we need, load diffusion model, loads the model, obviously. Dual clip loader, translates your text prompt into something AI understands. Load VAE, handles image encoding and decoding into and from latent space. These three are your custom checkpoint setup. Add power LoRa loader from RG3 for when your AI girl needs better hands or worse life decisions, all to satisfy your lust. Fix hands, improve skin texture, questionable fetish. Civet AI's got your filth buffet ready. Differential diffusion applies a smarter mask during denoising, helping your edits blend better and not look like they were spot welded. Clip text in code for positive and negative prompts. Though Flux doesn't need negative prompt, add it anyway to avoid error in case sampler. Flux guidance controls how much freedom the AI improvise versus how it follows your prompt. Load image, upload your deranged AI girl and pretend you can fix her like it's not entirely your fault. In paint conditioning node, wires everything to tell the model where and how to edit. Case sampler, VAE decode, save image, you know the drill. Fix the nodes the way you want it. Now, link the nodes. Just follow what I'm doing. Now for the models. While other Flux models can technically be used, they aren't optimized for in-painting and may produce inconsistent or distorted results. So you'll need Flux 1 Fill Dev, the real deal. It's specifically designed for in-painting tasks capable of filling masked areas in an image based on a text description. In Hugging Face, search Flux 1 Fill Dev by Black Forest. Go to Files and Versions. Download that 23 gig monster. You may need to accept terms first to download. Links in the description. Alternatively, we have Flux One Fill Dev FP8, about half the size, nearly same quality. Think of it like Schnell, but still good. Once downloaded, toss them in Comfy UI folder. Models, diffusion models. Now go back to the workflow. Refresh the nodes. Just hit R on your keyboard. The models should show up now. Models for clip. Use VIT L14 and T5XXL. Set type to flux. For VAE, use AE.safe tensors. If these models are news to you, you didn't watch the last video. Links in the description. Leave Power Laura Loader blank for now. You can test it later when you're ready to perform unauthorized AI surgery. Let's load an image from our previous tutorial. Now right-click, 
open mask editor. Go ahead and mask off the clothes. You pick up your palette knife and then work that into your meat. Give your meat a good old rub. Hot oh, and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. Save. Keeping the same prompt with change. A young woman sitting in a coffee shop, wearing yellow bikini. You can fantasize undressing her all you want. Just don't drag me into it. This is YouTube. I like my channel not banned. Now, settings. Flux guidance in our last tutorial, we had it at 3.5, now crank it to 30. This tells Flux to stick to the damn prompt and do exactly what we say, especially when we're trying to make specific edits. Seed, increment to match generations for comparison later. Steps 20. CFG 1.0, this value avoids weighing in negative prompts. Denoise 1.0, we're not half stripping here. No leftovers, no lace, all skin. Let's start with Flux 1 Fill Dev, the 24 gigabyte chunk. Okay, while waiting, here's a fun fact. The average pervert spends more time masking AI clothes off than talking to real women. You know who you are. <laughs> Nice. And look at that nice body. I mean, body bikini. I said bikini. Definitely meant bikini. Stupid autocorrect. Damn, bro, that took my PC 380 seconds to generate. Remember, the bigger the image and the more you mask, the longer it'll take to generate. Let's burn it, four batch. For those wondering, I'm running a 3070. That's eight gigabytes of mid-tier GPU sadness. Now we're down to 100 seconds per generation. The heavy initialization was done after that first run. Now let's try that FP8 model. Set the seed back to zero. First generation at 120 seconds. Way better than that 24 gigabyte chunk that almost burned my GPU. Let's run it four more times and see if it keeps up. I smell my 3070 sizzling already, but at least it's NVIDIA. Still better than AMD cards, where success is measured in crashes per minute. There we go. Generations at 60 seconds. Impressive performance. FP8 might be the sweet spot for speed and quality. Side by side, comparison. Flux 1 Phil Dev versus the FP8 version. Same image, same mask, same prompt, same seed, same everything, same delusion. The quality difference? Barely noticeable. You won't see much change. So unless you just enjoy flexing your VRAM, FP8 gets the job done. Just as good, twice as fast. Well, at least for changing clothes. Other tests like background, hair, color. Yeah, those still need to be tested. But let's be real. You're not here to test backgrounds. You just want more NSFW generations. That's it for Flux in paint. Now it's your turn to do what you do best, undressing imaginary AI waifus instead of getting laid. It's all in the description, workflow, and links. If this tutorial helped your AI girl get hotter and your standards weirder, like, share, and hit subscribe. Catch you in the next video. Same regret, new workflow.